Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Finally back home from Minnesota. A lot of you know, I went to Game Fair and it was epic. And I wanted to start the video off in the truck right away because I have some very, very important things that are very near and dear to my heart that I need to tell y'all. First and foremost, guys, going to Minnesota to the Game Fair in Ramsey was a very, the most actually, the most humbling experience that I have had yet to date here on the channel and with you guys. It was amazing. You guys showed up in abundance. Uh, I was keeping count of how many of, of y'all came to see me uh, at the dive bomb booth and I got to like 50 or 70 and I, I stopped counting. So um, amazing experience. I, I couldn't thank you guys enough for just showing up. And um, I put a face to the number, you know, because a lot of us YouTubers out here, we, we, we upload videos and you might get 30K or 100K on a video, right? Well, that's just a number, you know, you just see the number. To put a face with the number, it was amazing, y'all. One of the funnest things I did was ask y'all, uh, hey, how long have you been watching the channel? And that was so interesting just seeing the range. Because Minnesota, it's the heart of waterfowl up there, y'all. There is a ton of you duck slayers up there, and I mean a ton. There was a ton of you wearing ducks gear, too. So big, big shout out to all you guys that made it. Seriously warmed up my heart, seriously. But enough with the mushy gushy. Got some awesome news at the loft. I'm sure y'all can tell by the thumbnail and title. And I haven't been able to check the rooftop traps because I've been out of town. So we should have a bird or three in there. You know what I mean? Well, took a little detour on the way to uh, check the traps just to look at some dove holes, some dove honey holes. I'm telling you what though, when this corn comes off, them dove are gonna be everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They're already in abundance, but once that corn comes off, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. It's coming. Y'all better be gearing up for dove season. I'm telling you what. Get loaded up with them shells. Get them guns clean, boys. Clean the guns, okay? Because if your gun is dirty from last season, meaning last waterfowl season, and you haven't touched it, <clears throat> it's dirty and it was shooting good because you had a big shell in that bad boy. Dove shells, they're only an ounce. They're only an ounce and an eighth, maybe. So, clean them guns. You want that bolt to be slapping. Slap happy. Well, we're up here. <laughs> like before, I like being quiet going out of here because it's been like 48 hours since the traps have been checked. No one else can come up here, you know? And, uh, there's no telling what's out here right now. <laughs> Honestly, my biggest fear is that we have dead ones in the trap because they suffered heat exhaustion or something. That's my biggest fear. That's what I'm hoping isn't the case. I hope not. I just hope we have some live ones in the trap. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, boys, yes, that's awesome. Like I was saying though, <clears throat> no one else can come checking. When I'm out of town, that's just it, I'm out of town. Um, I'm gonna try to get Jordan permission so he can come up here as well when I'm out of town, you know? Look at that, six of them, dude. Oh my goodness. Well, I think that right there is that tells us something that says uh we need to keep some look at this whoa Woo! boy howdy yeah see what i mean so what i was gonna say is i probably need to keep some birds in the trap here they come again <laughs> that's tasty right there boy that's tasty that gives me another great idea one of you guys commented going above me a lot of birds that is a bunch of birds that's a flock of 200 easy here they come If someone was like, Bobby, you need to put on a ghillie suit or something or make a little panel over here in the corner and sit there and try to net them. 
I think we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> you guys' comments and video suggestions are absolutely epic. I thank you guys so much for always putting your video suggestions down in the comment box because, uh, as you can tell, they help. Get our bucket here, though. Wow, six. Oof. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna load these birds up. Um, I don't want to keep any of these birds in the trap as bait birds uh, due to the fact of I don't know how long that each one of them have been in here. Uh, I'd hate to keep them in here any longer than they've been and then they end up dying on me. So they need to go back to the loft, get some food, get some water, especially water. Wow, six of them, y'all. Can you imagine when it actually gets cold and they have to have food to survive? It's gonna be wild. Well, here's a blue bar, first one out. Pretty decently, I mean, middle-aged bird, maybe two year old. Gonna get some of this new food out before I put them in there. Put some new food out. a lot of the food that's for sure actually we're just gonna pour it over there we go now he's a black bar black guy middle age maybe a year old he's pretty young actually really young bird boy howdy this bucket is not gonna like holding all these birds We've got a small bucket for this situation easy killer this one here he's an older bird here you can tell he's a blue check much older bird Good color on his feet and his legs. This guy right here, this guy is a runt. He is a squeaker McGee. <laughs> yeah, you're a young dude. <laughs> Little bitty guy. Oh, what about this? Whoa, killer. Easy, easy. Got a blue check here. He is an older bird and he is strong. Really strong guy there. See how strong you are now, boy. And last but not least, this guy. Oh, gotcha. He's definitely the oldest of them all. That's why he was the hardest to catch. Definitely the oldest. Good looking. Old blue check there. Six birds, boys. Wow. If you like this video so far, we haven't even got to the main part yet where I should take you guys back to the small loft, the backyard loft at the house, and showing you them new babies. We got a lot of new activity going on in the, uh, in the loft at home. So we're gonna actually run these out to Jordan's loft. Uh, I don't wanna take them back, back home because we got two babies on the ground and we got two other eggs. So let's get these out to Jordan's. Well guys, I got the AC blasting on them. This is what I always do with my birds. I bring them inside and I always bring them inside the truck, blast the AC for them and get them cooled off. But this bucket in the summertime, I'm finding out that it's not a good deal. I need to get a cage kind of transportation device, a caged unit. So this just doesn't bottle up all the heat and humidity that they're putting off. Because when I got in the truck, I opened the bucket and they were all literally had their mouths open and like panting like a dog. So getting them cooled off here a minute. That's the last thing I want to do is catch pigeons and accidentally end up killing them all. You know what I mean? So I think the uh, the bucket will work great in the winter time because it's naturally just going to be cold. But in the summertime, that bucket gets really hot. I have, See all the air holes I put in the top? I put a ton of air holes in it. But still, it just doesn't flow air very well. I'm learning as I go, you know what I mean? But let's get to Jordan's loft, get these birds let go, uh, get, them, get them back to being comfortable, and get, get them some water, for sure, you know what I mean? But if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please smash that thumbs up button for you. Boy, it helps. It helps so much, actually. It only takes .2 seconds. Just uh, do it for me, please. Well, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Jordan has been doing a lot of work on the old loft. Let me tell you what, uh, he got this other section going here. This is the old section that you guys have seen. This is a new part. Looks like he's putting all of the feral birds over on this side. For sure, those are all feral birds in there. So here we go. 
tried my best to keep them cool. Here's that black young dude. Cool bird. There you go, buddy. This is a little older. No, still a young one. Young blue bar. Go on, buddy. Look at him. They just run across the floor. <laughs> Jordan's going to be excited. He's going to be like, what? You got six? That's that old. He's the older one. The oldest uh, blue check. There you go, buddy. Ooh, he's like, ooh, I like this place, Bob. What do we got going on in here? Here's a young one. Little squeaker blue check. Siamese squeaker McGee. Come on, buddy. Uh, and then we got a little, yeah, a little old. This guy's a little older yet. Probably a two-year-old blue check. Woo, he's got some energy. Another old guy, blue check. Older-ish. Probably two, three years old. Come on, buddy. There we go. Man, it's looking good in here. Check it out though. These are uh, Jordan's old German pigeons. They're actually old German owl pigeons. Pretty cool. He got some new ones down there. I forget the name of those guys. They look like chickens. If you know the name of those guys, drop a comment down below. Man, they're loud. Their cooing is deep and loud. But check this out. He's been doing some work up here, y'all. I mean some work. Looks like he almost has it all done. He's got buckets all mounted up on the ceilings for nests. He's got the entire thing screened off. It's going to be big and it's going to be beautiful. So if you guys are new here to the channel, uh, what this is, this is Jordan's Loft. If you haven't met Jordan, uh, he's on a lot of my pigeon videos, a lot of my hunting videos. And he actually has a channel. I'll link it down below. What we're doing is we're filling up his barn. He has made his whole barn there into one giant pigeon loft with sections, you know? So we can have a species of this over here, a species of that over there, and then this big part is gonna be all ferals. That big part that I just showed you actually, that's gonna be all feral pigeons up there. Big, big numbers, big, big breeding. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, really awesome. It's already awesome. But uh, there's been a couple of you guys suggest that I do a video of what all is in my truck, like clean it out type of deal. <laughs> if you guys want to see that video, let me know down below. It'd probably be good to clean the truck out before the season's here anyways, and it'd probably be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing, sleeping, Frederick? You were passed out, buddy. Yeah, you were passed out. Let's go outside. Outside, Frederick, Tex, Soph. So the number one question, what all y'all were asking at the game fair, it was awesome. The number one question I got was, Bob, did you bring Fred? I'm like, no, I didn't know. Uh, the Minnesota game fair literally is built of dog training. And that's, you can tell the tradition of dogs, labs especially, pointers, you know, hunting dogs. That's why that game fair exists. And there were dogs everywhere. If I would have known it, I would have brought Fred up there because like I said, that was the number one question. Bob, did you bring Fred? I kicked myself in the butt for not taking Fred. I really did. I didn't know, but now I know. Next year, I promise Fred will be there. But here we go, what y'all been waiting for. So first off, I haven't shown y'all. I'm gonna have to scare her off her nest a little bit. Come on, girl. There she goes. Check it out. Yo, yeah, our purebreds. They mated a long time ago, like y'all knew, and uh, she's laid two eggs. She is doing awesome. Haven't even been able to show you guys that. Just been so busy, you know. Gone. Filming. Busy. The more I'm thinking about it, this red guy, he might actually be the dad. Old Clark Griswold, he may not. But check it out. They hatched. We got the babies, y'all. Aren't they just so ugly? I'm pretty sure they're cute. They're tiny. Them babies right there, they are only two days old, y'all. Let's open this up here and get a close look at them. I don't like bothering them too much, you know. Check them out. Just little two-day-old babies. They're just getting where they'll actually lift their heads up. And you can tell um, they're just getting to where they're trying to blink their eyes. Their, their eyes aren't even open yet, but they're trying to open them and, and move them around. It's pretty cool. Never had baby anything, but I've never had baby birds at my house. So 
Um, it's an awesome little experience. The kids have absolutely loved it. These guys were actually born when I was in Minnesota. <laughs> but uh, when the pigeons first laid eggs, I was like, guys, what am I getting myself into? How do I take care of these guys, you know? And a lot of you guys really helped out and were like, Bob, you actually don't have to do anything. The mom and dad will take care of them, they'll feed them, uh, basically get them all ready to go until they are ready to jump out of the nest, you know, and start flying. And so I thank you guys so much for all your helpful tips, all your comments down below. Without them all, I couldn't be successful, you know, at having the loft, at trapping pigeons, at hunting ducks, at calling ducks. You guys always help me out, and I have to thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Um, without you guys, like I always say, I wouldn't be here. I couldn't be doing this. Um, like I said, the game fair was an extremely humbling experience. I never imagined how big the game fair was and how many of y'all went there. I just didn't know, you know. I'm from Kansas, if you didn't know. Now, you know, we don't have much waterfowl tradition here. There's actually none. The only tradition we have is, is like our DU events that we have once a year around, you know, different counties. But uh, other than that, I'm telling you what, the tradition of waterfowl exists up north. You guys, you Minnesotians, all you Minnesota folk, you guys are some great people. Gotta tell you. I even met some people that traveled from Texas to come up there. Pretty amazing. Th thank you all for stopping and saying hi yet again. I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. But you guys have been requesting Frederick videos. Sit. We've been working on obedience. I mean, that is literally it. We haven't been going on any hunts. I've been listening to you guys. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, were like, Bob, I love what you're doing, but you need to stop hunting Fred for a little while. And uh, a lot of you said, if you're gonna hunt him, just leave the gun at home. And so that's what we might do, you know? Uh, that's what we might do for some dove hunting. That's what we might do on some early teal hunts. Take Fred, leave the gun at home type of deal, you know? Look at him now. Fred, heel. Good boy. He's a good boy. That's my boy. You guys have helped a lot though with Fred's training. You guys have been wanting more Fred videos. If you guys have any training videos that you want me to do, drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, a lot of you guys were wanting me to do some, uh, how did I get Fred to play so well? I'll tell you, I got him to play so well over two days of training. That was it. Fred, place. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good. One thing I've learned is uh, you don't praise them until they've done the job you've asked. So that goes a long ways. Um, if you guys want to see any videos like that, maybe we'll do a placing video, a dog training vid with Fred. Let me know. But I appreciate you guys. Sit. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate you guys hitting the thumbs up button. I appreciate you guys dropping comments. I appreciate you guys subbing everything. Just uh, that, that game fair was a big eye opener for me. And uh, I appreciate y'all so much. But subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button for you, boy. <sighs> Thank you guys. And um, been in my feels a lot. You know what I mean? Just been in my feelings. I'm loving it. Loving life. But till next time, uh, we'll probably have a video coming out tomorrow or the next day. A lot of videos coming out, y'all. But we will see you all on the next one. Peace.